Okay. Thank you. Yeah, Sister Joyce, can you open with prayer? Okay, Sister Aisha, open for us. Let us pray. <clears throat> Precious Father in heaven, we come here thanking you for the life you've given us today. We come here also in contemplation and pain that there is death around us, whether we know it or not. Amen. And the particular news that keeps coming to us about our young people, our youth, our daughters and our sons, we are almost at a wit's end not knowing what to do. Yet Amen. here we are, having gone over the youthful years and beyond. We thank you, Father. You must have a purpose for us. Open our hearts, our minds to hear what you have to serve for us through your man or woman servant today. And help us, Father, to be engaged mm. and to pray earnestly, mm. but also to act earnestly and speedily, for the times are getting worse. We were warned. Help us to heed is our prayer in Christ's name. Amen. 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 God bless you, Sister V and Jim. Baby Aisha, may God bless you. Sister Florence, do you have any song for us? Florence any Kaunda. Song? Any song you want to sing for us before the speaker? Okay. Mm. <laughs> okay, let me let me sing. You must be prepared because people of God must have a gun ready you to know? shoot. You <laughs> All right, I'll just sing a regular hymn song. No problem. Tis the blessed hour of prayer Amen. when our hearts slowly bend and we gather to Jesus, our Savior and friend. If we come to him in faith, his protection to share, what a balm for the weary, oh, how sweet to be there. Tis the blessed hour of prayer when the Savior draws near. With a tender compassion, his children to hear. When he tells us we may cast at his feet every care. What a balm for the weary. Oh, how sweet to be there. Tis the blessed hour of prayer when the tempted and tried to the Savior who loves them their sorrows confide with a sympathizing heart he removes every care what a balm for the weary, oh, how sweet to be there. Tis the blessed hour of prayer, trusting him we believe that the blessings we're needing will surely receive. In the fullness of this trust, we shall lose every care. What a balm for the weary. Oh, how sweet to be there. Blessed hour of prayer. Blessed hour of prayer. What a bomb for the weary. 
Oh, how sweet to be there. Amen. God bless you, Sister Florence. Mm -hmm. God, bless you. God bless you. Over to you, Sister Charlotte. May the Holy Spirit use you. Luke 12, verse 12 says, while you are standing there, the Holy Spirit will give you what to say. May the Holy Spirit use you. Thank you, Sister Charlotte. Over to you. Amen. Let us pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, we want to thank you this afternoon as we open your word. We pray, Father, that may you speak to us. In Christ Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 Um, our text of consideration, it's uh, Revelation chapter 11, verse 1. And it reads thus, I'm going to read the text and then I'm also going to refer to the spirit of prophecy. It mm. says, and there was given me a reed like unto a rod. And the angel stood saying, rise and measure the temple of God and the altar and them that worship therein. Mm. We are seeing an angel here and um, he's instructed that rise, take a reed like unto a rod and measure the temple of God and the altar and them that worship uh, therein, who are they that are worshiping? It's us who are worshiping. Listen to what uh, Sister White uh, says when she's explaining this. She says, the grand judgment is taking place and has been going on for some time. Now the Lord says, measure the temple and the worshipers thereof. Remember, when you are walking the streets about your business, God is measuring you. When you are attending your household duties, when you engage in conversation, God is measuring you. Remember that your words and actions are being photographed in the books of heaven as the face is reproduced by the artist on the polished plate. Here is the work going on, measuring the temple and its worshippers to see who will stand in the last day. Those who stand fast shall have an abundant entrance into the kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. When we are doing our work, remember, there is one that is watching the spirit in which we are doing it. Yes, you can be sweeping the house, you can be cleaning, you can be cooking, but the spirit which you are using, is it the right spirit or you are angry and at the same time doing it? Shall we not bring the Savior into our everyday lives, into our secular work and domestic duties? Then, in the name of God, we want to leave behind everything that is not necessary, all gossiping or unprofitable visiting, and present ourselves as servants of the living God. If we go down with that uh, verse, if we are to go down with it, we can also uh, share on this what Sister White writes when she's uh, 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 with the download of heaven. She says, I've seen an angel standing with scales in his hands, weighing the thoughts and interests of the people of God. In one scale, where the thoughts, of, where the thoughts and interests tending heavenward, in the other were the thoughts and interests tending the, uh, to, uh, to earth. And in this scale were thrown all the reading of storybooks, the movies, thoughts of dress, show, vanity, pride, etc. We know the thoughts that are in our minds. Oh, what a so solemn moment. The angels of God standing with scales, weighing the thoughts of his professed children. Those who claim to be dead to the world and alive to God, the scale filled with the thoughts of earth, vanity and pride quickly went down, notwithstanding weight after weight rolled from the scale. The one with the thoughts and interest tending to heaven went quickly up as the other went down. And oh, how light it was. The angel weighing the thoughts and interests of the people of God said, Can such enter heaven? 
And the angel responded, no, 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 never. Tell them <laughs> the hope they now possess is vain and unless they speedily repent and obtain salvation, they must perish. A form of godliness would not save any. It's of no use for people to say, oh, my sister, you are so sweet. But in the heart, it's not sweet. We want to cry that the Lord gives us to be sweet outside and inside. May it be seen. What is outside may it be the same like what is inside. All must have a deep and living experience. None will enter heaven without making a sacrifice. A spirit of self-denial and sacrifice should be cherished. No one will enter heaven without sacrifice. I know we are going through a lot of things. There are some people who have even lost their jobs because of the Sabbath. But that is what the Lord is expecting from us. Sacrifice. So as to make it into the kingdom of God. I want to say to us and encourage us with this uh, 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 story that I'm going to share. It's in one of uh, um, Mark Finley's books. It's talking about a deaconess. This deaconess, um, she, has, she was a deaconess for over 40 years in a certain congregation. And it says she was one of the most cheerful, optimistic, and truly happy women. A bubbly, smiling deaconess who warmly greeted people as they came into church. She made sure that they felt welcomed. One hot day, she called her pastor. Her pastor was called Jim. And she was sounding so serious and said, Pastor Jim, I need to see you. So the pastor quickly left everything that he was doing and rushed to see uh, the deaconess, the deaconess uh, sister Martha who was a deaconess for 40 years in the church. They spent a little time talking about the weather. They talked a little bit about Martha's children and grandchildren. They talked about this and that and, you know, but the uh, pastor could see that there was something wrong with uh, uh, the cheerful sister Martha. And then uh, uh, sister Martha started uh, speaking and she said, I went for my annual checkup and uh, they've discovered that I've got a, 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 a disease that has spread. The doctor gave me two months to live. So Pastor Jim, I want, I want to talk to you about my funeral. Pastor, here are the hymns that I would like uh, to be sung on my funeral. And then she gave, uh, she gave uh, the pastor these two songs, Precious Lord, Take My Hand. And the other song was, uh, What a Friend We Have in Jesus. Pastor Jim, here is my favorite text. She even gave the pastor the text, which was first uh, Thessalonians 4, verse 16 and 17, which says, The Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall arise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And then she went further to say, Pastor Jim, uh, my blue dress, my blue church dress, that's the dress that I want to put on. And then she also said to the pastor, here is also my Bible. I want to put my Bible, I want you to put my Bible in my left hand. And when I'm in my coffin, this book has encouraged me through the years. So, Pastor Jim, when people come by me after the service, I want the coffin opened and I want them to see old mother lying in the coffin with a little smile on her face, with a Bible in her hand and wearing her blue Sabbath dress. And then the pastor says, okay, that's fine. And then uh, um, old mother went on ahead and said, I want you to put a fork in my right hand. And then the pastor said, a fork? What are you trying to say? I didn't get you right. That's what the pastor was saying because he was surprised, a fork. And then Sister Martha says, you know, Pastor Jim, 
I'm a deaconess and I've been serving at fellowship dinners in this church for the last 40 years. And you know what? When the fellowship dinner is over, we deaconesses often say, save your folk. Now, pastor, when we say save your folk, that's not for some lukewarm melting vanilla ice cream. That's not for some imitation chocolate pudding from a box. When we say save your folk, that means that the best is yet to come. That means the homemade apple pies are coming. That means the homemade blueberry pies are coming. That means the homemade oatmeal raisin cookies are coming. Save your folk. The best is yet to come. So Pastor Jim, when I die and they put me in the coffin and then go by and look at that folk, they are going to ask, what does it mean? And you are going to tell them, Mother believed that the best is yet to come. Why am I mixing the two? Look at this. The angel is there measuring the tempo and measuring the people. And he's looking at our thoughts, looking at our interest, looking at, at how we do things, which spirit are we using? I want to say to us, it's so difficult in this earth. And it seems like it's going to continue like this. But I want to encourage us that it's better to sacrifice and to think heavenward and to live heavenward. Live as the diplomats that we are, thinking of heaven only, no matter how difficult it is, knowing that the best is yet to come. You know, this, uh, when we read Romans 8, 18, it says, these trials and afflictions and all these things that we're going through, they cannot be compared with the glory that shall be revealed. I want to encourage us to say, let us pray even more and more to say, Lord, change my mindset. Give me the mind of Jesus. Fill me more and more with your spirit so that the things of this world will grow strangely dim. And even though I'm on this earth, let me live as if I am in heaven. May the Lord bless us and keep us. I do not know what you are going through at this time. Maybe you are on top of the world today. If you are finding fulfillment in your job, your family is fine, your health is good, your finances are doing well. I just want to say to you, the best is yet to come. If you are going through the heart-wrenching agony and trauma of divorce, and you are wondering how to pick up the pieces of your life, the best with Jesus is yet to come. If your body is wrecked with, the root, uh, with arthritis or, for, or any other disease or cancer or whatever, I want to say to you, the best is yet to come. If you come from a broken past and a, 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 a family that is not united and you are still healing from the scars, the best is yet to come. If you have been through financial reverses, the best is yet to come. If you are struggling with guilt, the best is yet to come. If some sin has gripped and imprisoned you, the best is yet to come. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. Amen. Amen. Can you pray for us? Let us pray. Father, we want to thank you. We want to be there with you, Lord Jesus, in heaven forever. We are longing and looking forward for the best yet to come. But we've got also struggles of sin, struggles of the world. We are asking you that may you fill us with your Holy Spirit so that we can live above the world, even though we are in this world. For you told us plainly that we are still in the world, but we are not of the world. We are longing to be just like you, Lord. For very soon you are coming to take us home. Take over and take charge. When you weigh us on the scale, may we be found. May the, uh, heaven be the one with the scale that is 
uh, more than the scale of this earth. We thank you. We bless your name now and forevermore. Amen. 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 May God bless you, Sister Charlotte. May God continue to put word, wisdom, knowledge, and power and understanding. May God enlarge your territory. Best yet to come. I can't wait for that one. Because if your heart is troubled, if you think of best yet to come through the Holy Spirit, you will be strong. As Sister Charlotte was preaching, I think of Galatians chapter 5, verse 21. It's saying here, envy, murderers, drunkenness, uh, revealings, and such, uh, and such like of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in the time past, that yet which do such which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. I wanted to read from 16. Let me just read 16. This is this I say then, walk in spirit and yet mm, shall not fulfill the last of the flesh. May God bless the reading of the word. Because if we are in flesh, you, you can't be led by the Holy Spirit because the full the fruits of the Holy Spirit is in Galatians 5.22. But the fruits of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, and goodness, and faith. So we need to be in spirit from Monday to Sabbath, even to Sunday. Not to be in spirit only on Sabbath. We need to be in spirit the whole life. Whether you eat or drink or do anything, do it for the glory of God. So thank you, Sister Charlotte. We need to pray for this gift of Holy Spirit nearly every day. Any comments about the preaching? Best yet to come. It's a powerful word. It strengthens me. Anyone with a comment? Okay. Mm. Sister Wilson, can you close this session with prayer? H. Wilson. Okay. Maybe she's at work. Sister Savannah, can you pray? And remember, Sister Charlotte, in your prayers. Okay. Galax, can you pray for us? Let me pray. Oh, you can pray, Sister Florence. I will pray. Okay. Oh, okay. sure. Can you hear oh, me? Charlotte. Sister Sharon, were you speaking? Sister Sharon was speaking. Okay. Let us pray. Most gracious Father in heaven. I just want to thank you for this this midday meeting mm -hmm. where we have experienced and you the, the manna from heaven and the blessings coming down. Mm -hmm. Lord, yes, we can get so overwhelmed by the events of this life, but we forget that the best is yet to come. Mm -hmm. And that you promise, oh God, that even before we ask, you are there to hear if we walk in faith and we are obedient to okay. your, your, your mission in our lives. Forgive us, dear Lord, where we have kept our eyes on man, mm. where we have put our confidence in the governments and the systems of this world instead of putting our faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. I thank you, Lord, 
that despite the fact you are measuring us, that you still leave the door ajar for each one of us, the door of mercy. So I pray, O oh Lord, as we look up in faith, help our unbelief. Help us when we are weak. Help us when we cannot see past our problems. Help us to build our faith of the Lord Jesus Christ, who is our righteousness, who is our advocate, who is our redeemer and the lover of our souls. I pray, O oh God, that as we meditate on the message today, that we will grow in faith and in confidence. Continue, dear Lord, to prune our lives of anything that is unlike you. And help us, dear Lord, to have an obedient spirit. So when the spirit speaks to us, the goodly spirit of God speaks to us and directs us, that we will not argue, but we will say, speak, Lord, your servants are listening. So I pray for a special blessing on Sister Charlotte and her household, that you will continually put your words into her mouth so she can just be a maid servant of the most high God knowing dear Lord that you are willing to use her for the smallest appointment to the largest appointment and I pray oh Lord that we will not sit here with deafened ears or stiff necks or hardened hearts but we will allow the spirit to have his absolute sway in our lives and that we will surrender all in order to experience the best in the future. So I pray, dear Father, that you will be with those who are brokenhearted, those who have had their faith tested, that they will just rest upon the affirmations of the Lord, and that they will be, those affirmations will be to them more than their necessary meat. Be with those who have lost loved ones. Lord, we've had a stabbing within the church family, even locally today, Lord. Today, mothers within the Luton area are meeting up just to pray and to be encouraging and and to just to just be with there with those parents who are suffering the loss of their loved ones um, through last week's stabbings. I pray, dear Father, we know that we are living in traumatic and perilous times. And you have given us a bidding to move to the country because you could see the trauma and the dramas of this time. I pray for the, those of us who haven't moved, that we will be prepared to sacrifice all to be obedient to the Lord. And just like the children of Israel stepped out in faith, it was their faith to believe that the Red Sea would open Why it opened. It was their faith that they believed that the Jordan would be open because they put all their hopes and their trust in the Lord. So, Lord, where we are not, where we're not in the right place, we trust you, Lord, that you will be our vision but you will be our way maker and you will be our deliverer. Help us to wait patiently and to follow your biddings, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God bless you. <clears throat> Sister Sharon, it's time for prayer. Anyone who wants to do the praise? Okay, Sister Florence, can you do the praise? Praise, we sing again? Uh, no, or you're through the scripture. Yeah, you, you claim your own scripture and then pray. Okay. Praise the Lord. Anyone who to do the confession, maybe we can give that one to Sister Charlotte. The confession. You read the word and then pray. And the third one is the Holy Spirit. Who is going to take the Holy Spirit?
Holy Spirit. I don't know, Sister Wilson is not there. H. Wilson, Savannah. Galaxy. To take the Holy Spirit. Maybe Sister V, because you don't know anyone to take the Holy Spirit. Sister V. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. And the prayer retreat. Pray for the prayer retreat. I will do that. I was on mute. I couldn't open. Okay. Barbara. Yes. Thank you, Sister Barbara. You are taking you are taking the Holy Spirit. Which one are you taking? The prayer retreat. Yes. The prayer. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, we can pray now. Let's take just a some seconds okay. just to, to confess our sins and then I'll say amen. Let's pray silently for our sins. Amen. The praise. <clears throat> you can read the verse and then pray. Okay. For praise, we're going to look at Psalm 18, verses 1 to 3. I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. My God, my strength, in whom I will trust, my buckler and the horn of my salvation, and my high tower. <clears throat> I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. Let us pray. Our Father God, we come into your presence this afternoon. And call upon your name because you are the merciful God. Mm -hmm. You are the faithful God. You are our creator. You are the God who makes a way where there is no way. You are the God who sacrificed your only begotten son that we may be reconciled back to you. How marvelous are your works to your people, O Jehovah. This afternoon, Father, we acknowledge you as our rock our fortress, our strong deliverer. We want to thank you because you have loved us with a special kind of love. Father, we shall call upon your name because you are worthy to be praised. You alone are God. You alone are our creator. To the, thee belongs all power, honor, and glory. How excellent is your name in all the earth. We give you glory, Father, because Jehovah God, you are faithful. You have exalted your name above your, your word above your name. What you have promised to do, you will do. We are here in this prayer forum, Jehovah God, because we have stood upon your promises, because you have believed that you are the God who doesn't change. You are the God whose word goes forth from your mouth and does not return unto you void. You are the God who can create from nothing. By the power of your word, you can cause life into being. This afternoon, Father, may you receive our praises to you because we recognize who you are in our lives, because we know that you are our high tower, our rock of refuge. You are our buckler. We shall stay in place and in position 
because Jehovah, you've got us under the shelter of your wings. We thank you for your faithfulness towards us. May you meet each one of your daughters in this place at their point of need. Teach us how to worship you. Teach us how to praise your holy name because you alone are worthy of our prayers. Praise. Receive our praise in Jesus' name. We ask and pray. Amen. 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 Uh, I didn't see the text, so I'll just, uh, can I read? Um, I read your own. Okay. Um, Psalm chapter 51, verse, uh, I'll start from nine. It says, hide thy face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. And then I'll go to 12, uh, or maybe let me just go 11 and 12. Cast me not away from thy presence and take not the Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation and uphold me with thy spirit. And seven, page me with high soap and I shall be clean. Wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. Let us pray. Our dear heavenly father, we want to thank you this afternoon. Lord Almighty, thank you that you are a God who forgives all our iniquities. We pray in a special way that Lord purge us from all sin. For you are the only one who has got power to do that for us. We pray that may you cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And may you make us to be whiter than snow. To be whiter than what we were when we came into this platform. Take over and take charge in our lives. Uh, we pray in a special way that, Lord, the sins that easily entangle us, we pray that may you give us power and victory over them in the name of Jesus. We want to thank you, want to give you praise and honor, asking in a special way that, Lord, create in us a clean heart and renew the right spirit within us. Fill us with your spirit that we may see the sinfulness of sin and be converted and repent and live lives that are pleasing before your presence. We want to thank you, Lord. We love you, Father. We love you, Lord Jesus, for the grace that you give us, for your love, for the gift of forgiveness, for the gift of cleansing us. We want to thank you, want to give you praise, asking in a special way, if there be any sin that has dominion in our lives as we are praying, I pray, Father, even for our families who are not in this group at this moment, but who are represented by each and every one, that, Lord, may you uproot those sins. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Acts chapter 1 verse 8 says, But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the world. Father in heaven, O great and mighty Jehovah, we are here thanking you for the blessings and the faithfulness you have given us today. We are here, Father, raising our voices together to lift up your holy name. But we are also aware that we have greatly sinned against you and we have been operating in the flesh. With the same mouth we have cursed, as the same mouth we worship you. With the same body we have sinned against you, it's the same body we're presenting to you. Father, it is simply because we have not allowed the power of the Holy Spirit to baptize us, but also to work within us and through us. And so the formula is clear that we are not able to do anything unless we receive the power of the Holy Ghost. And until we are baptized in the power of the Holy Ghost, 
we will remain in the flesh. We continuously war flesh against spirit, but our desire sincerely is that we walk in the spirit. We do all in the spirit, for we have failed to be witnesses upon you. And so the gospel has not gone where it should go. Uh, we are told here that it's even not been in our own households in Jerusalem, and that is where it is to start. My prayer is that everyone in the areas of Jerusalem where they are, in the individual households, that Father, they each and us also pray for the power of the Holy Spirit to reign in our homes, to reign in our body homes, and to reign in our physical homes. And then after Jerusalem has been baptized with the Holy Spirit, we can then go into our neighborhoods, Judea, further into Samaria, and onto the utmost part of the earth. Forgive us, Father, where we have failed. We are asking, Father, that you open our minds and our hearts to recognize when we are walking in the flesh and not the spirit and be drawn back nearer onto you so the spirit can take us over because we're living in a time where now the spirit of the devils are possessing everyone. We are not on sound mind as we ought to be and we are harming and killing one another. That is not a witness for the Jehovah of heaven. Forgive us, Lord, and restate us to our most precious position where we walk hand in hand with the Holy Spirit. Be with us each wherever we're going to do and wherever we are going to go. And may we walk in the power of the Holy Spirit. Give us a rebirth today. It is my prayer in Christ's name. Amen. 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 Prayer retreat. I think it's Galaxy. Is it Sister Martha? It's Barbara. Oh, Barbara. So. Thank you, Barbara. Can you hear me? Because I've been talking and I thought I was open. You were, you were on mute, talking on mute. Now we can hear. <clears throat> okay. I'll be reading from Second Chronicle, <clears throat> sorry, chapter 20, verse um, 15. <clears throat> it reads, And he said, How can ye, all Judah, and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem, and thou King Jehoshaphat, thus Say the Lord unto you, be not afraid nor dismayed by reason of this great multitude, for the battle is not yours, but God's. Let us pray. <clears throat> Father in heaven, we come to your throne of mercy this afternoon to give glory to you, O Lord. We are nothing without you. But when we are with you, Lord, we know we are protected, we are shielded. As a group, O oh Lord, we come to you to be led only by you, to be guided by you. For on ourselves, we are getting lost, O oh Lord. At this moment, Lord, the prayer retreat group is being represented in your name, Lord, that the group may continue to pray unto you to help others that they may know about you, Lord. We want to thank you for the word that we have shared today with our sister this afternoon. That, Lord, may it stay in our hearts and draw us closer to you, O oh Lord. Forgive us, for we sin each and every day. And may you touch all our faculties, Lord, that we may work in the way that you want us to be. Lord, we pray in our different places, at work, at home, and everywhere where we, we are, in the church, that, Lord, may we always call upon your name and believe and trust in you. May you also in, increase our faith, O oh Lord, and remove our our unbelief, O oh Lord, for we lose things in this world because of lack of knowledge, O oh Father. May your words be 
a word to lead us as we live in this world. Dear Lord, we are staying right now in the end, towards the end of the world, and we have no power if we do not keep our eyes upon you and believe and trust only in you. Oh, dear God, may you be with us today as we finish this meeting, as we go to our different places. We pray that may your Holy Spirit be amongst us. Be with those, Lord, who have lost their loved ones. Be with those, Lord, who are faced with illnesses. Be with those who are in need of finances, places to live, the wars all over in this country, Lord. As a group, Lord, may you continue to give us the strength to meet and talk to you, O oh Lord, for you promise never to leave us and you will be with us until the end of this world. Dear God, thank you for taking care of us today and for taking care of our lives. We do not know that we will be alive today, but because of your love, you have been with us. And for today, Lord, as we depart to go to different places, be with us in the name of Jesus. Give us the strength, send us the Holy Spirit to lead and guide us each and every day. Be with our children, O oh Father. We cannot manage to control or to lead them properly now, for the world has made it so easy for them to do whatever they want and they are getting lost each and every day. But Father, because they are slumbering and we are also slumbering, we are sleeping, we do not see the evil that is coming to us, even though you told us. Father, may you open our eyes and our minds like, like the, the servant of, of Elisha when he was scared that there was a lot of... Um, uh, people who were coming to fight them, but Lord, he did pray that you open his eyes, that he may see what you have for us. May we also have hearts like that to know that we are protected by you and to trust and, and believe in you in the name of Jesus. We pray. Amen. 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 Can someone remove the recording? Anyone?